Hey guys, stay with me. Hey, let's go get it, baby. Let's go get it. happening people uh, whole crappy here caught him on a swim bait we are back to the lake today doing some crappy fishing boom first fish of the day uh, caught him on that Virginia shad color there on the swim bait uh, we back up one of the creeks water's fairly shallow it's about 8 to 12 foot deep right here around this dock and uh, trying to get some lures back up under these docks to catch some of these fish guys Come along with us. Hope you enjoy the video. You know, one of the key things of fishing docks is getting the boat positioned just right so you can make an accurate cast. And I'm on a cross brace right now. And the reason I'm on a cross brace is because when I cast, I cast across the dock where the cross braces are. Didn't take my time and throw parallel to the cross brace. Maybe we could, maybe we could talk it into coming out. That, we talked it into it. You see that line pop right there? Pull that line out and pop it a couple of times. Sometimes it'll shoot a vibration down the hook and it'll come loose as long as you don't sink it in there. Most people get angry real quick and just sink the hook in there too deep. Look at that. First cast, y'all. I don't know if I'll get him out. Oh, look at that, boy. Good gracious, where are that boy done found? Woo-hoo! Ah, boom, that LC Shad. Hey, that LC Shad is one of the best bodies that you can actually fish right there, bar none. Good lead mitch crappy right there, boom. Anyway, hey, let's go back up under there and catch another. Oh, let me show you where I'm casting, y'all. I don't know if y'all can see it. And I'm trying to get the rod tip down low enough. Skip it back up underneath there. The crappy are not that deep, but they are pretty good ways back up underneath this dock. So we're gonna fish around here. We'll hit it from oh, I got bit, but he didn't he didn't eat it. Uh, we'll fish it from a couple of different angles to see if we can get baits under there. And if we can't, we just move to another dock, you know? under there again seems to be if I can get it under there I can catch a fish there's another one a boom oh yeah that's a good one right there come on up there boy he swallowed that thing good gracious look down in there he swallowed that thing hmm it's a good crappy right there you know, dock fishing is all about the angle and being able to get to the fish. You know, fortunately, water's down a little bit and I'm able to get underneath this dock. You know, and if you hunt around, a lot of people don't like to fish docks just for the simple reason. You get hung a lot. Oh, that's just the simple truth of it. But I get hung in brush piles too. <laughs> so, uh, you know, if you, fish a couple of docks you'll kind of learn where those braces are and you can stay away from them and you can catch some good sized crappy this dock has been good to me so far if we can slide one back underneath this that was pretty good you notice how i pull the line back give it a little slack oh look at that uh-oh hung around one of them braces 
Good gracious. Come on out from the uh oh. He's a wild one. He's a good crappy. I can see him right there. Come on out here, big boy. Good gracious. He's all around that post. Now that joker right there is eating. I'll tell you why. Look how far he's got that LC shad down there in his mouth. Boom. What I'm talking about. Boom. Good fish right there. I think we can do it again right there in that one little spot right there. Right there in that hole. Let's see. Oh, that was a bad cast, y'all. And you see that right there? If your lure gets boogered up like that, you are not going to catch a fish. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. That was a good one right there. We ought to get a fish. We'll just let it sink. And actually, I can tell as I'm winding it that I am over a cross brace. It just fell over. So we'll let it fall. Because those crappy around those cross braces under there. There he is. A boom. Oh yeah. Another good one. A boom. That is a good fish right there. A good crappy. They all getting stirred up under there. Let's pick back up underneath there again. See if we can ease one out. There he is right there. Boom. I'm telling you, boy, they don't, they don't fire under this dock. Look at that. Good gracious. Well, either they really like this color, and I'm going to look this color up for y'all. I know y'all wondering what color that is. Boom, there's another fish right there. All right, I done beat my lure up, so I'm gonna change. I told you I would let you know what color that this color is. I'm catching them on. I'm catching them on the on the champ color. That's the champ color in the LC shed. Champ. And it's been a good color. Uh, the fish have really reacted good to this color, this champ color today. I don't know whether it's because it's overcast. And I am topping this. Uh, I want it to sink slow under these docks, so I'm topping it with a 130 second head. Boom. Uh-oh, I don't know if I'll get him out. Oh, there he is. I squeeze him out of there. Good day. Oh, yeah. Old LC Shad putting it on him, ain't he? Yes, sir. Turn him back in the water. y'all see that thump y'all good gracious y'all see that thump y'all see that rod jump that's what i'm talking about There's another one up there yes sir see that old rod thump <laughs>